Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm Craig with 3D Resin Solutions and in this video we're going to review the Hero Mini Maker software which is due out January 6, 2020 which is available through Steam to download for just under $60 at $59.99. There will be a commercial license available, but the details on that are not quite out just yet. All of the minis I print in this video will be done with the Hero Resin from 3D Resin Solutions, which is an impact-resistant resin made for small prints and general form printing. The software is very intuitive, very easy to use, and I'm going to show you some of those features and how I got them uh, set up and ready to print on a number of different LCD DLP printers. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We launched our software. We click Create in the lower right-hand corner and you come into a generic character. This is very intuitive from this point on. You have these 360 view toggles here and you can choose male, female, neutral and the items that you wish your character to be carrying. So if I choose a male I can select individually random by choosing the dice on each attribute or I can use the drop down menu to select something more specific or I can use the random button down here to randomly select all of the above. Once I choose a basic character, I can go ahead and get the items that I want my character to carry. And you can spend a lot of time going through all the combinations. There's hundreds and hundreds, I'm sure. Not to mention all the iterations and poses that you can do, which I'll get to in just a moment. So once we have our character carrying the weapons and items that we wish him to be carrying, I'm going to go ahead and start doing some poses, which is probably my favorite part of the software. So down here in the posing, I'm going to choose an attack. Uh, I do like the sword attack. So his sword attack, which is the left arm, so he'll swing that left arm. And what I want to do here is decide where I want my prints. Of course, we're printing the characters that we're creating here. So I'm going to slow my speed down in the lower right hand corner. You can toggle this down and slow him down so he moves. And then right when he gets to the spot where you like him to be sitting, so I can do a pre-attack. I, I can pause him right there and I think that would make a very cool print. So you can imagine, you can go through all these poses and, and you can pause anywhere along the line. So the, the combination of characters that you can create and poses that you can create are literally limitless. So once you have your character that you want to create, let's go ahead and go to the system button here in the lower hand, right hand corner and let's save our build. I'm going to call him, I'll put him on the desktop and we'll call him Tom. Save him as an HMM file. And then I'm going to export the S uh, I'm sorry, export the STL file. On the desktop here, we have our two files. Here's Tom, the STL file, which we are going to set up and get ready to print. And the Tom HMM file, which of course goes with the Hero Mini Maker if I wanted to change his, change his pose or do something different with him later. The file that is exported from the Hero Mini Maker is very small, so we do have to resize it. I'm going to go ahead and show you two different ways to resize your print. The first is in Box, and very simply drag and drop onto the build platform. When he's selected, make sure you choose the scale to fit button and you can resize him smaller if you'd, if you'd wish from there. The second way, and the way I prefer because I do use the Unis software to create my supports, generally speaking, I can bring Tom in and it will automatically give me the option to not only repair the file, but also resize him. All right, I'm going to set up Tom as if I was going to print him. So we just can align bottom and Within the Unis software, I generally use uh, two millimeter spacings, diameter one millimeter, and my touch point size will be right around 0.5 millimeters. And I can lift him if I wish and generate. Whether or not you print directly onto the build platform is, of course, up to you. Sometimes you lift just to get it oriented a little differently. Sometimes you can print directly on his back. However, you want to orientate it, that's up to you. Once I have everything supported the way I wish, I can export the file. And here's our Tom. I'll supported. We'll put them on the desktop. And at this point I can choose which slicer software I want to use based on what printer I want to print on. Once I have my new hero that I designed in the Hero Mini Maker ready and supported to print, I'll bring him in to the Chitterbox software and get him ready with the settings that I prefer. So when I'm printing with the Hero 3D Printing Resins from 3D Resin Solutions, I do like to be up at around 13 seconds normal exposure and 70 seconds bottom exposure. So there you have it, a quick overview on how you can make your own heroes using the Hero Mini Maker software due out January 6th. You can see in the background there, I have a few of the characters front and back that I have created. I've also tried experimenting with some different posing and having some fun doing that. So I'm going to get these guys all cleaned up and I'm going to make my own horde. But uh, in the meantime, you can check out all the links down below to download the software when it comes out. Thank you to the uh, creators of the Hero Mini Maker for allowing me early access to the software and allowing me to create these things. I really appreciate it. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and make it a great day.